Hey guys, it's Lori, the Cheeky Crafter. I thought I would show you how I was going to color my cookies to stamp from the Stamps of Life. I'm doing this in anticipation of the card kit arriving in just a few more days. I think it ships on the 15th, which is next Tuesday, June 15th. So I'm excited I should have it by the weekend. So I thought I would go ahead and start getting some images stamped and colored so that they would be ready to make cards as soon as the kit arrives. So I've got um, the mixer, a tray, and then the plate of cookies, and I'm stamping them with the Memento Jet Black ink. And the reason I use this ink is because I'm going to color with the Spectrum Noir markers that Stephanie and the Stamps of Life are going to be carrying soon from Crafter's Companion. And I want to make sure, since they're alcohol markers, that they don't bleed uh, or that they don't smear the black stamp outline. And the Memento is the best for that. So... Let me show you how these uh, markers are numbered. They're grouped by the name. So like the one I'm using now is dark red. And then they start with numbers one and then they go up however high that particular set might go. The higher the number, the darker the, the color. And so the way that I color is I start with the lightest color and put the whole base down. Then I go back and do the edges with the dark color then add the medium color and then blend it all together again with the lightest color. I hope that makes sense. And so here you can see where I've gone with the dark red blending. And now I'm going to do it on the lower part of the mixer as well. Now these Spectrum Noir markers, I really just love them. They make it so easy. They take the guesswork out of everything because they're easily numbered. You can see I've got my chart on the right. I don't have every color. I'm hoping to get every color once they're in stock at the Stamps of Life. But I've got most of them, and I've got enough that I can blend easily. I've got at least two of every color, so it's easy to blend. And so again, I put down a base layer of the lightest color. Then I do the edging in the darker color. Then I fill in the medium color. And you'll notice when, I, when I'm adding the medium, I go back over the dark again and, and sort of push it into the middle, if you will, or towards the middle and towards the lighter color. This just really helps blend it all. And then I go back over everything again with the lightest color. And this really helps to blend it well. And you'll see in a minute, I'll hold this up closer to the camera when I finish so that you can see how it's blending. And it will continue to blend as it dries. So there's the red part of the mixer. Now I'm going to switch over to um, Ice Gray, which is IG. And you can see I've got several of these colors. So I'm going with the lightest one, and I'm going to make this look like a silver accent, if you will, or the, you know, the metallic part of the mixer. So I'm doing the whisk, the stand, the strip at the top, and then that little button, or the knob. I'm not sure what you would call that. And then I'll just go again with the medium, blending it in towards the center. And then go over everything again with the lighter color to blend it all together. And now you can see the close up on the gray parts. Now I'm going to color that bowl and I chose to go with the lightest blue. It's true blue and the lightest one I have is, is number two. I don't have the number one. And I wanted it to be sort of like a see-through clear, and so that's why I chose the blue. So, like, there's nothing in the mixer yet, in other words. The dough is not quite there. It's just kind of pulled out, getting ready to start mixing up the cookie batter. So I did that, and I'm not going to add any um, definition to this because, like I said, I'm trying to make it look more clear. Now I'm moving on to the cookies, and these are not the tri-blends. So I have one color per marker, and as you can see, they have different tips. So one has that thicker edge and one has the uh, nib tip, tip. And so I go ahead and I lay down the base color on all the cookies. And you'll notice here I can color straight over the black lines and they don't smear. So that's really nice when you have a bigger area. Then I'm moving on to the next color, or excuse me, the darker color. And I'm putting an edge around these cookies to give them sort of like a shadow. Then I'll come in with that medium color, add a little bit more to it where the dark was. And then I'll go back over all of it with the lighter color once again to blend it all together one more time. And again, as it dries, it blends a little better. 
I don't know if you can tell on the mixer, but the red parts on the mixer are already blended really nicely now that they're drying. So there's my cookies. Now I'm going to take the darkest and throw some dots in here to represent the chocolate chips. They will, um, I might need to go over these a second time, I'm not sure, because they get a little bit lighter. I'm going to wait until they're fully dry before I see. Now I'm going to move on to the little plate that the cookies are sitting on, and I'm going to go with the darker gray, darker ice gray this time. So I'm using numbers IG, I think it's ice gray, yeah, IG, 7, 8, and 9. So this is 7 that I just laid down. Now come in with 9 and do the edges of the plate, or the outer sides, if you will. Then I'll come in with IG8 and blend that in, and then go back over all of it again with IG7. And now you can see how that's together. And I wanted to show you the back just so you can see it does. The thicker your cardstock, the less bleed you'll have through. Um, and this is 110-pound cardstock that I'm using. So if you are going to um, be using a lighter weight, make sure you have some other kind of paper or something on there to protect your work surface. Now I'm doing the tray, obviously, and I'm using um, MB123 and 4, I believe. Sorry, that's not right. I'm using RB1, 2, and 3. So RB is red-brown. And I thought that would look more like a wood color. And I wanted it to be slightly different than the cookie color. I didn't want to use the same brown for both. So here I am, and I'm, I'm keeping the tray, the middle part of the tray, lighter and the edges darker. But then I realized that the middle of the tray was not blended very nicely, so I went over it again. And there you go. So now I'm going to go ahead and, and cut them out. And as you can see here, they are all cut out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'll list all the colors in the description.